Hello, you are welcome to solve this nice math problem involving square root. From here, from what is given, which is 4 plus root 15 raised to the power b, then plus here we have 4 minus root 15 or raised to the power b equals to negative 2. Now from here, let's rewrite 4 minus root 15 and that can be written as equals to we have 4 plus root 15 multiplied by 4 minus root 15 and divided by 4 plus root 15. 15. So here we can equally write 4 minus root 15 like this. Why? Because here 4 plus root 15 we cancel out 4 plus root 15 here. And but from here we can rewrite 4 plus root 15 times 4 minus root 15 as 4 square minus root 15 square from power square and this is divided by 4 plus root 15 that is when we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b so this is same thing as a square minus b square so that's what we apply here then that means 4 minus root 15 now can simply be written as here we have 16 minus here so root cancel square root then we have 15 then over 4 plus root 15 and this is simply 1 here 16 minus 16 that is 1 so we have 4 minus root 15 now is not thinking as 1 over 4 plus root 15 then from what you are given we can write this equation again now and instead of having 4 minus root 15 here we can substitute that as 1 over 4 plus root 15 so that will become into bracket 4 plus root 15 raised to the power p now then plus here we have 1 over 4 plus root 15 all raised to the power p then equal to 62 then we can solve for that from here this power of p we affect 1 and uh, this and 1 raised to the power p is still 1 so we can say this is 4 plus root 15 all raised to the power p then plus here we have 1 over 4 plus root 15 all raised to the power p now equals to 62 then we have 4 plus root 15 raised to the power p common so let's use the letter to represent that so let's m be equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power p then this equation now can be written as m plus 1 over m then equals to 62 then from here we can clear this fraction and we multiply through by m and here m times m will be m squared then plus m will have cancel m here we have one left then equals to 62m then we can form an equation with this now and this becomes m squared minus 62m plus 1 now equals to 0 
and we can solve this using the quadratic formula here m will now be equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and in this case a equals to 1 and b equals to minus 62 c a equals to 1 and this now becomes m, m equals to minus minus 62 plus or minus square root of minus 62 square then minus 4 times 1 times 1 all over 2 times 1 and when we simplify this we have m now equal to here become plus 62 and plus or minus square root of 62 square here in 62 times 62 that gives us 3844 then minus here we have 4 then over 2 times 1 here is 2 then this becomes m equals to 62 plus or minus square root of 3840 divided by 2 and from here you can factor 256 out from here that will be 256 times 15 and we have m now equals to 62 plus or minus square root of 256 multiplied by 15 then all over 2 and we can bring this into two roots and that will become m equals to 62 plus or minus here we 16 root 15 then over 2 and these two will affect 62 and we also affect 16 here then we have m now equals to here you now be 31 plus or minus a root 15 so we have two possible cases for m here first we have m equals to 31 plus 8 root 15 and also we have m equals to 31 minus 8 root 15 and from here, let's recall that we represented m as 4 plus root 15 raised to the power p. We have m to be equal to 4 plus root 15 raised to the power p. Then here we can equate this and this will be 4 plus root 15 all raised to the power p now equal to 31 plus 8 root 15 then also what we have on the right here we can write it and this is 4 plus root 15 raised to power p now this can be written 31 here can be written as 16 times i mean 16 plus 15 rather then plus here we can write this as 2 times 4 then times root 15 now when we compare this with when we have a square plus b square then plus 2ab here is same thing as into bracket a plus b square and when we compare it here here a same thing as 4 that is we can write this as 4 square then plus b here will be root 15 that is 15 can be written as root 15 square then plus 2 times a that's 4 times b that's root 15 so that what we have here now can now become 4 plus root 15 raised to power p then here this will now be a plus b which is 4 plus root 15 all square then when we compare here we have same thing here that means the base 
Kaiko, and we can equate the power, then P now will be equal to 2 from here. So we have the first solution here as P equals to 2. Then equally on this side, which we have M equals to 31 minus 8 to 15, and M is 4 plus 8 to 15 raised to the power of P now equals to 31 minus 8 to 15. So let's also write this and that 31 that's 16 plus 15 then minus 2 then 4 root 15 root 15 root 15 then this one follow when we have a square plus b square minus 2 a b which we can write as into bracket a minus b square then looking at this here it implies that here we will have a to the 4 and b to the root 15 and what we are given there which is now 4 on the left hand side we have 4 plus root 15 raised to power b now we now be equal to 4 minus root 15 all square and from here this is not equal to this and we should recall that we can also write 4 minus root 15 as equals to 1 over 4 plus root 15 and this same thing as 4 plus root 15 raised to power minus 1 so which implies that here we can write it as 4 plus root 15 raised to power p now equals to 4 plus root 15 here then raised to power minus 1 then square on this side then can this give us here is power we multiply on the law of unity and this will be 4 plus root 15 raised to power p now equals to 4 plus root 15 now raised to power minus 2 now we have seen this now then the power we can equate it and we have p here to be equal to minus 2 so the second value of p here is minus 2 so therefore in this solution we have p equal to 2 and p equals to minus uh, 2 thank you for watching subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell share this video and uh, turn on the notification share this video give it thumbs up see you next class and bye for now